Kanye West is one of those artists that are known for reinventing themselves and switching up the style for every new album. And as a result of this, everybody has their favorite Kanye era or their favorite Kanye moments. But as I was thinking about it, I realized that there is an overlooked time in Kanye's life that people don't mention anymore. And that happens to be the year 2018. This was the year where he started ramping up the MAGA hat stuff, which even to this day overshadows a lot of what Kanye did that year. And at least on the music side of things, Kanye had a good year. He would produce the entirety of Pusha T's Daytona, which is a modern day classic. If you know, you know. Considered by many to be the album of the year in 2018, then just one week later, he released Ye. Which is a great but brief album in Kanye's discography, and honestly, one of Kanye's better albums of the last decade. Then, just one week after that, he would drop Kitsy Ghost with Kid Cudi. Everybody want world peace till your niece gets shot in the dome piece. The album tackling a lot of issues in Kanye's life and Kid Cudi's life as well, and also one of the more progressive albums in terms of mental health and the discussion that surrounds that. And as the years go by, this is the only thing that's remembered from 2018. The crazy run that Kanye and Good Music had for the first couple weeks of the summer. However, with this video, I wanted to point out the things that people forgot happened. And although I can focus on Kanye's beef with Drake, I would rather save it for later. But it's worth mentioning because the beef that Kanye had with Drake would lead to one of Kanye's weirdest songs. The but they don't really realize though. Today. So for those who don't know, according to Drake, this song was originally meant for him. But as the Pusha T and Drake beef started bubbling up, I guess the Kanye and Drake beef did as well. I wake up now to this text from him, like passive, like sends me as something I did. Yo, I love you, brother. Lift yourself comes out with him just talking nonsense. So yeah, out of spite for Drake, Kanye would just shit all over the track. Boopy dee scoop. Scoop dee dee whoop. Kanye's production on this track is definitely crazy, but uh, I don't know. I listen to it a lot, I'm not gonna lie. But I also have wondered what somebody actually rapping on this track would sound like. Like, I don't know, in my mind, I just can't imagine it really. It's not really a hip hop beat, man. You know what I mean? But also, something that happened in 2018 is that Kanye West would collaborate with Lil Pump of all people. You're such a fucking hoe. I love it. And let me be honest, the song is not that bad. It's by far my favorite Lil Punk song, and it's a song that if it comes on, I'm leaving it on. I'm not skipping. Ignorant, like a lighter, bitch, we ignorant. But how odd everything came to be is something that definitely cannot be ignored. Where do I even start with this song? Kanye was the creative director of the inaugural special awards, and that's where the song would premiere at. Your boyfriend is a door, make love in. For most people, their first exposure to the song was the music video. And the video definitely has some things to unpack here. Mostly the Roblox suits. And the video would get 70 million views in its first week, by the way. Which made it the most viewed video in its opening week in hip hop, surpassing This Is America by Childish Gambino. This is America. Now that's crazy because like when you think about these two videos are kind of like the opposite in that one clearly has this political social commentary and there's a bunch of stuff going on and the other one is horny Kanye. I'm a sick fuck I like a quick fuck I like and while I'm at it I guess we can get into his verse because uh <laughs> I'm a sick fuck I'm inappropriate I like yeah uh Kanye is not afraid to let people know that uh he is horny I'm not gonna lie one of Kanye's kids has to be an actor how you start a family that kind of slipped up one day your ass must do the packaging at least one has to be an accident but what's even weirder about this track is the clean version you're such a fucking boy i love it puppy i'm inappropriate i like hearing stories i like the whole script and the clean version of this track definitely has its funny moments none funnier than when kanye went on snl and performed this track so now there are water bottles and and they're on stage and look at look at Kanye dancing. 
Kanye's out of breath. Truly, this was probably the funniest thing to happen in SNL that night. Uh, I will give it to Kanye, it was just him having fun. Honestly, I wonder if this song played a part in Kanye changing his life and the Jesus is King stuff. I'm not saying it did, but like, uh, maybe. Anyways, that is 2018 Kanye for you. With that being said, shout out to Jay Dilla and I'ma let the outro roll.